Hello and welcome to a nerdy rodent. Um, today I am playing with OBS Studio because it's fun. Anyway, um, the main thing I'm playing with today is something called Virtual Cam. This is a plugin for OBS Studio. Now, you've probably seen many a time when somebody does a display capture. They add it. The screen goes like that and you get this whole hall of mirrors effect and it's I think it looks really cool so what I'm doing is that but using the virtual camera instead so that you don't capture the entire screen you just capture the particular things that you want so for example I've already got two example media sources in here I've got an example flag and an example strawberry. Now, using the virtual camera up here, uh, one small problem I found when using this was that uh, when the virtual camera is stopped, the CPU usage actually goes through the roof. So I stop it and my CPU usage will climb until my computer burns in a pile of molten lava. So um, I always keep this auto started uh, and the other tick box is the keep aspect ratio. Anyway, um, so that basically automatically starts this virtual camera and it's called OBS camera. Fantastic. And here is an example of one of the camera effects. So here I'm using the example strawberry and the hall of mirrors disappears back into the background there. Now this is of course um, real time so you can move your strawberry or whatever it is that you want to uh, to show uh, and uh, you know the various effects will appear. Um, it's effectively two of the virtual cameras so there's the device OBS camera, and this is also a device OBS camera, both doing slightly different things uh, in order to produce the effect. And here's a, another example scene, this time using uh, three as well as the example strawberry. So I've got uh, three of the virtual cameras with my actual strawberry. And again, this is fully real time, so you get to see the <laughs> effects cascade throughout infinity. Welcome to Time Tunnel Extreme. Here is yet another example. I like to call this Large Strawberry. Because why not? Um, again, still all real time. Yet another example. This time I've got two. I've got a strawberry and a flag. Because why not? You know, why not have two things in there? So uh oops, unlock it. This is the this is the real strawberry, so to speak. <laughs> and uh the real flag is the one at the top there. Hello. So you're probably asking, what, what, how, how do I do all these things? This, this looks too bizarre for me. Okay, let's, let's make a thing. Let's make a thing. All right, so we're going to do a new scene. And we're going to call this a thing. Because we're making a thing. All right. And I've got my existing media source. It's that strawberry that we've all seen. All right, there's the strawberry. It's a big strawberry. First of all, we will just have one strawberry purely for ease of use. And we're going to make it a little bit smaller. Now, um, kind of designing these around um, like some object being in a single area of the screen. Um, 
And I mostly play with the bottom left because of reasons. So let's do that. There's quite a large strawberry there, but uh, yeah. And all you do then is add another video capture device. So this is the same as adding your, uh, you know, uh, if you've already got a video camera, this is kind of what you'd do. But we set up the OBS camera. So that was the one that we started before that captures this output. There we go, you can see it's virtually straight away you've already got an effect. Hey, what am I doing here? Uh, now, yeah, so you can just move that around and, and you can get any any cool sort of effect. But obviously, you have to watch out for going over the, the top of the strawberry. Uh, so one quite easy trick to do. So you put that layer behind and then if you make this strawberry a little bit bigger so we will um, let's just make it the size of the screen to start with and then just make it a little bit bigger there we go so this has the peculiar effect of making your strawberry <laughs> expand into the infinite depths of the OBS mirror world so uh, depending on, on where you put your uh, your transformed strawberry, you will get this myriad of uh, rather interesting effects. Um, if you can position things sort of different ways, you know, you can line them up. It, dep it really depends on what your input is as to, um, you know, how you want it to look. And that's, so that's just a basic size transform and, uh, and there you go. Um, we'll just lock him down, we'll keep the source the same. Now, the other thing I like to do is add uh, color correction because this has hue shift. So if I do something like um, change the saturation a little bit, put that up, and also a bit of a hue shift, there we go. Let's say about there. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Now, you can also basically just stack on as many effects as you like. Now, now green, I see all the... Any time I see green, I, I have this sort of automatic urge to chroma key it out. I don't know why. It, it's just... I have to. I have to. Anyway, there we go. Um... <laughs> So that is, um, you know, basically how you do any of these effects. Um, now, when you start doing transformations, um, it's probably quite fun to start playing with the rotations too. So say I throw this in at like 33 degrees. Um, everything's disappeared, but... There's my strawberry. There he is. There's my strawberry. There we go. And so that's that's how you get this curling cascade into time. And obviously, depending on where you position it, that's that's how much curling you're going to get. Transform, edit, transform. You can go the other way as well. Let's do it at minus forty-five degrees. Let's put the strawberry in there. There we go. We get a sort of tunnel of strawberries. You can uh, move the strawberry into the middle for ease. There we go. <laughs> then you get a sort of bizarre infinite tunnel of strawberries. And uh, yeah, there's there's no limit to the uh, the number of video capture devices um, you can put on. Um, there's also another one as well, um, which is Source Mirror. Uh, this is a, like another plugin for uh, OBS. Um, and this allows you to basically duplicate any source. Um, normally, when you duplicate a source, you probably found that um, 
you know, you can put it in one scene, and if you change it in one scene, it changes in all of them. Any changes you make are global. Um, so mirror source or source mirror is um, one great way um, to sort of duplicate things. Um, but um, you can also mirror scenes as well. So you can basically stack them. So if I mirror that source in there, okay, so now I'm getting my strawberry from from the earlier one there, yeah. Now remember the source mirror is on the top, so I'm gonna have to do something with it. Whee! Let's make it a little bit smaller. And we want to try not to cover too much of where that's coming out. So if we flip him that way, there we go. Somewhere around there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that'll do for now. Anyway. You get the idea. So um, yeah, you can add as many mirrors or. Um, source cam uh, video capture devices as you want and um, you get a, a million cool effects. My little strawberry, let's move him in real time, see what happens. Oh, there's too many things. Too many things. I mean, I, I can just sit here and, and play with these for hours, to be honest. I don't know why. Maybe I'm just crazed, but yeah. Anyway, there you go. So there, an infinite tunnel of strawberries um, ranging in a variety of colours, because why not? Um, yeah, so that's fun.